What is going on everybody? This is Anim Shiraz and this is the second part of RSA Digital Signature and uh, in this part we will be implementing the RSA Digital Signature in two different platforms. Uh, so the first one will be in Python and the second one will be in JavaScript. The reason for that was you can get a lot of examples of people just demonstrating you guys how you can uh, do signing and verifying the signing and verifying your messages in the same uh, platform. But my idea is to show you guys is that, for example, your server is uh, written in Python and uh, you have uh, different clients that are interacting with your server by using the browser and the browser uses JavaScript. And uh, in that case, uh, we need uh, to sign the messages in Python and we need to verify the messages in JavaScript and vice versa. So that is the whole idea of creating this video. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, let's get started with Python and uh, let's create a new file and uh, call it as uh, um, sign okay so the important thing that we need to import are from crypto dot signature import pk CS1, I guess that's one. Okay, and uh, then from crypto hash uh, 256. We will be using this SHA 256 to uh, hash our messages. And we also need one crypto dot public key import rsa so first of all what we'll do is we will create a key pair and uh, let's say key equals rsa dot generate and let's say the size of this we want as 1024 so this library supports the size from 512 to uh, 2056 so but we'll go, we'll be going for 1024 so this key is an object that contains the private key and the public key so first of all let's extract the private key key dot export key oops and the public key is key dot public key export key and let's see what have we got okay so it seems that it does not like the syntax uh, oh i think i think i forgot to put the parenthesis in this one so let's try again hope this should work okay so now we have got the rsa key pair as private key and the public key so now let's store this private and public key into some place uh, well usually we store them in a file but, but right now i'm just going to uh, store them in these local variables okay so we have got the public key and the private key now let's uh, get rid of this and and now let's get started with signing the signature by the private key and we will do that as uh, so first of all let's create a message hello world and we need to hash this message as 256.new message so we are going to hash the message and uh, oops i think i need to remove this yeah and once the hash is done now we have to create a sign object uh, through which we can sign the message 
so we will say signer equals pk c dot new and we have to give here our private key so we have the private key in our local variable but we can't directly give that key into this because we need to create a variable for that so how we will do that is let's say private key equals rsa dot import key i guess this one is fine Now here it should come private key and public key equals rsa dot import key public key. So now we have got our objects of private and public key and uh, we are going to uh, pass this private key into this uh, signer object and uh, now we need to create a signature because we have got our hash function and we have got our uh, private key now let's create a signature signature equals signer dot sign h now this signature is being signed by this hash value and and the private key that we passed to this signer now the message has been signed and now let's try to print the signature and see what is it so it's giving me some uh, random kind of uh, ascii characters but so we will gonna make something more in a readable form so that we can give uh, that signature to the javascript code as well and for that we will gonna convert this signature into hexadecimal form so how we'll do that is uh, first of all we are going to import codex and we are going to convert this uh, into hexadecimal form so we'll say hexify equals codex dot get coder hex and we can store this uh, in a variable m hexify signature so this is gonna return me a list so we need to fetch the first item of the list and let's try to print this now it should give me in a hexadecimal form oops non hexadecimal digit found so what can be the issue okay so actually I don't need to decode it I actually need to encode it get encoder instead of decoding so okay so now we have got this hexadecimal form uh, signature now I guess the Python part is done now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the JavaScript library and uh, copy the same keys into that library and uh, give it the same signature and let's try to verify the message so <clears throat> and for that I'm using a JavaScript library called uh, uh, JS RSA sign it's a pretty much good library it, uh, it contains almost all kind of uh, logarithms that you need and it has a very good uh, sample console or which you can go and you can try to sign and verify your own messages by providing your own public and private keys so the good thing about that is like we don't have to code in JavaScript so we'll just simply gonna test it over here and at the back end the code is very simple you can simply copy and paste the code and you can use it so yeah so here we can see the private key and the public key and actually uh, for verifying we only need the public key and uh, so let's copy the public key oh actually this is the one let's paste the public key over here and uh, my signature is this one
okay and my message was hello world make sure you copy exactly the same message okay so so suppose that the python has uh, created a message and it has uh, created a signature of that message by using the hash function and uh, it has uh, sent this uh, message along with the signature to the javascript library and uh, the javascript library receives this signature and receives this message and it also knows the python's public key as well i mean to say the server's public key so now if i'm going to verify this it should it should say successfully verified okay so we have a problem so this says the signature is not valid hmm why is that so <clears throat> alright guys so seems like I found the issue the issue was actually when I was trying to copy when I was trying to copy this uh, signature from Python to JavaScript I got some blank spaces and the next line so I need to make sure that I remove all of these uh, blank spaces so forget about this private part because this part everything that is happening over here we are doing in Python right now so we are only concerned with this part the verification part so we have pasted our signature and the message is hello world and we know the server's public key now if you will verify so it says the signature is valid that's good so that means that the message was real and we got it from the real sender so for example now let's say we change the message by simply adding a small dot and now if you verify it we're gonna say success signature is not valid and that is because when the javascript code tried to create a hash function of this message so the hash function did not match because the message has changed by simply putting a single dot on the other hand if we keep the message same and if we change one single byte in the signature from 5 to u and then again the signature will not be valid and if i change it back to 5 We will gonna validate the signature so that's how it will gonna work and at the back end of this page the code is very simple it's of two or three lines code let me show you guys so here is the code for signing but this part we are doing in python and this is the function for verifying and it simply takes the message and it uh, takes the hash function and the hash function we are creating over here i mean you can do it uh, separately over here as well if you don't have this part and uh, yes so you are creating an object of public key and then uh, for from this public key you are verifying the message by giving the argument as message and the hash function and uh, and then this will gonna return you true or false depending on the validity of the message so I guess that's it for now and uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.